and welcome to another installment of Archive Riffs. The show that just can't seem to ram the definition of riffs through anyone's head. But uh, I got another little rant for you here. Oddity Archive and just life in general anymore have developed this strange little way of keeping me from pursuing any further interests. Case in point, almost five years ago now, I acquired my technician and soon thereafter general class ham radio license. And I've been here at the new Archive HQ for two years now, and my little Yesu handheld transceiver is still lurking at the bottom of a U-Haul box somewhere around here. So, if there aren't enough hours in the day for me to make an ass of myself over the airwaves, I guess I'll do the next best thing and make an ass of myself by talking over an old ARRL film, American Radio Relay League. And today's film is from, presumably, 1976, and is called Moving Up to Amateur Radio. And the idea behind this one was to get CB users interested in ham radio. And also, bear in mind, 1976, so, you know, Convoy and just ahead of Smokey and the Bandit and all that. And uh, also, at the time, you still needed a license to do CB, so, you know, it would make sense. The ham would seem like the logical next step, and uh, indeed, that was the trajectory that I took. But uh, whether or not it worked is kind of open to debate. Now, before I start running this one, let me note that the print is very faded, and it was transferred to probably VHS and probably using one of those crappy little black box devices. Uh, the video file that I've got is very compressed and why I couldn't quite read the date. Um, yeah, it's a red flickery to the point of kind of looking like a malfunctioning strobe light at times mess. Watch at your own peril. Baby, if you've ever wondered... Pretentious Krautrock. Hi, I'm Roy Neal. I'm a correspondent for NBC News, where usually I cover such things as... Celebrity scandals and political grandstanding. But right now, I have a different assignment to tell you about my hobby. Philately. Amateur radio. Oh, wrong film. I share with nearly a million ham radio operators all over the world. My call, incidentally, is K6DUE. Well, until those bastards at the International Space Station took it from me. It is a Citizens Band radio. CB. There's literally a world of difference between ham radio and CB. Or a few feet. This is amateur radio. A catchphrase later revised by Paul Hogan. A maximum of five watts. Good for communication over a few miles. Now, this ham radio station is allowed to run a thousand watts of power and is capable of communication with amateurs all over the world. All with nothing to say. And incidentally, it belongs to uh, Ted Gillette, W6HX. We borrowed it because it's a good example of a top-quality ham station. Reed, you can't afford it. This is the shack. Now, let's see if we can find somebody on the band to uh, give you a demonstration. And the Cardinals are leading the Mets 5-2. to two. Hello, CQDX, CQDX. This is W6HX, W6 Hotel X-Ray, calling and standing by. Uh, W6HX, uh, W6HX, uh, W6 Hotel X-Ray, Tango Germany 9, Echo Kilowatt. Tango Germany 9, Echo Kilowatt, TG9 EK in Guatemala. How convenient. HX, fine Joe, the name here is Roy. You're uh, a place that we've been hearing a great deal about. Were you active during the recent earthquake disaster there in Guatemala, Joe? Go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, I admit, I caused it. It was a prank that went very wrong. From Texas, uh, has sent five plane loads. Uh, food and clothing, medicine, and uh, you can well imagine what we've been doing. Over. 
I certainly can. Right now, we're making a film. Oh, crap. I'm not dressed for this. My hair is a mess. All about, and in particular, the fun of talking to places back and forth. Uh, you might give us some idea of what amateur radio means to you and your work there in Guatemala. Go. Well, we like to use a nearby repeater to blast some Black Sabbath while we work. I, I mean, uh, uh. Uh, It's one of uh, our finest uh, sources of communication, frankly. I have uh, mobile equipment also for my car, and I can contact my wife when I'm out in the uh, boondocks, as we call it. That's really the only way we can communicate. I don't exactly fit her society. Lord have mercy on a boy down in the boondocks. Tango Germany 9, Eastman Kodak, TG9EK, from W6HX, with K6DUE at the microphone. And I got stacks and stacks of red-hot wax coming down the tracks. Now here's one from the Buckinghams. Good luck to you there in Guatemala. TG9EK, W6HX. Well, uh, thank you, Roy. And it's uh, sure good to be with you this afternoon for a few minutes. I appreciate that great big booming signal that you've got. You are 40 over 9. Damn straight, I'm 40 over 9. Okay, good afternoon to you, Joe. 73, see you later. TG9EK, W6HX. What a show off. Joy, working DX as much as I do rag chewing. Oh, uh, working DX means contacting faraway stations. And rag chewing is just that. I personally take a little cheesecloth. Communicating. Talking with people almost anywhere is the reason I got interested in this hobby. And it's more than just a hobby. You'll be selling your firstborn in no time. If you're into CB radio, this modest ham station may not seem too impressive. Note the lack of Shannon Tweed nudie posters up there. Bill has talked to stations in 24 states and... Uh-oh, Nixie. Nobody tell Tecmo. ...a collection of cards confirming his contacts. They're called QSL cards. Or quite simply lame. That's gonna go over well with the hams. ...or otherwise. That's Morse code Bill's using. And yes, it gets Bill a lot of booty. All hams know the code. It's one of the things we have in common. CW, we call it. Confusing words. Private language, as well as being the most efficient method of radio communication yet devised. Except for that pesky deciphering bit. Well, I don't have to write it down. ...of licenses. To get a novice license, you only need to send and receive the code at five words a minute. And somebody tell that Minot idiot that the RKO radio pictures opening does not count. Do it. And there's plenty of help available. There are all kinds of books, code records, code cassettes. Hey, wait, hired stud will travel. How'd that get in here? Most of them free. Here in Los Angeles, for example, there are dozens of classes to choose from. I personally recommend the one taught by Boom Boom LaRue. One of the most popular is at the Lockheed Amateur Radio Club. It's run by Bill Welsh, W6DDB. Popular because there's free pastries. Okay. No dot dash, simply dit da. Everybody's welcome in ham radio licensing classes because anybody can get an amateur license. Well, if you can stay awake long enough. Or anything else. Bill here tells me that some of his sharpest students are CBers, people who already have some understanding of radio communication. Such as telling you to stick it where the sun don't shine and make it feel like a compliment. Since comes, the world of ham radio is wide open. Beautiful pictures, Joe. Uh, DU1JMG in Manila. This is W6K. Before you know it, you may be into any number of things. Maybe slow scan television. Ooh, the scary logos channel. Or maybe you'll decide on radio teletype. Or just a really primitive, impractical synthesizer. Or how about working another station through one of the ham satellites? Okay, WA0MFC from W6EJJ. Okay, Pete, thank you for Nebraska. You're five and seven. You win some free chicken wings. Interested in DX. I still get a kick out of talking to hams in Sumatra, Sicily, Russia. 
Or maybe you'll prefer handling traffic. Those high-heeled boys need all the help they can get. You'll get active in one of the groups organized to provide communication during emergencies and natural disasters. You'll have to move to a floodplain, though. Service which amateur radio provides. WA6RNG, walking mobile six. Anybody around? WA6RNG, this is K6DUE. Byron, I'll be with you in just a minute, okay? Right, Roy. We'll be standing by. Maybe you'll get interested in 2 meter FM. Is that so corporate, man? Over the Los Angeles area with this little handheld. I've actually talked to hams as far away as Mexico, 200 miles. Uh, the little signal from this goes to a radio repeater up in the hills where it's amplified and retransmitted. And boiled and strained and boiled again. Country. Well, I could drive from here to New York City and never be out of range of a repeater. Of course. I'm not about to drive to New York City. I mean, where would I park? To talk to somebody across the continent or around the world. They're no farther away than my microphone. And no data mining. Maybe I'll see you on 20 meters. Or maybe here on 2 meters. Anyway, 73, all the best. And good luck. Uh, Byron, are you still there? K6DUE, this is WA6RNG walking mobile. Uh, uh, yeah, we're having fun making the crew walk backwards. WA6RNG, this is K6D. Did we just segue into a whole nother film? I'm taking my constitutional with Betty. Where are you? I'm at W6HX place. Uh, we've been working 20 meters. Why does he have an antenna farm? Hey, wait, those are my underwear hanging from the top one. Go ahead, Breaker. This is WA6DAW, Mobile 6. Yes, I really talk this way. You recorded those radio announcements by Big Van Dyke? The ones described in ham radio. I'm the guy. Well, I heard two of them last week. They're terrific. Oh, yeah, once we convinced him to drop his Mary Poppins voice, it was smooth sailing. Around the country. Let me see, uh... I'm not very good on names, aren't you, uh... Uh, Renee? Right on. Your memory's perfect. Well, perfect's a little extreme. Oh. Now there's something everybody can agree to. Hey, riffing on ham conversations. Why didn't I think of that? Boyne, how are you? Hi, Byron. Hi, Renee. Hi, Roy. You guys will get a kick out of this. Seems like uh, I get a telephone call about three days after I was handling all that Guatemala earthquake emergency traffic. And it's a cb that wants to know how he can become a ham radio operator. Well, I cured him of that one. Two radio classes that I know of in Los Angeles. And he says, no, not just me. All 50 of us. They actually have 50 members in their trucking club. Stupid C.W. McCall. Ruined C.B. for everybody. That's my better half, guys. W.A.6.H.H.T. W.6.P.J.X. Go ahead, Trish. Holy May, December, Batman. W.A.6.H.H.T. Mobile 6. Bernie, is there anything you'd like me to stop for on the way home? Yeah. Cookies, milk, and drive carefully on the freeway. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. I certainly will do that. So, who else is in here? Hi, Patty. This is Renee. W-A-6-V-A-W. Yes, I really talk this way. Hey, Mobile 6. Hi, Patty. This is W-A-6-R-N-G, Walking Mobile 6. Hi, Byron. Renee and Roy and anybody else who might be listening. And it's Patricia. Thank you very much. Mobile 6 on the Hollywood Freeway. Boy, even on the interstate, you can't escape that Hollywood magic. That's okay, Patty. You got all of us handsome guys to talk to. Break. Okay, the end credits have started. No more new characters, please. I mean, this was already turning into a Robert Altman film. Oh well. That wraps up another installment of Archive Riffs. And I'd just like to take a moment to say, you're splattering all over the band. I tell ya, back in my day, we had to build a rig out of coat hangers and transmit CW at 1600 words a minute standing on our heads just to get our novice license. You kids have it way too easy. 73. Kentucky 2 lousy amateur kickboxer. <laughs>
sources of communication, frankly.